on people welcome back to another video the title is a wrong to finally do a good video on an rs3 literally all you guys seem to comment these days is rs3 i can understand why the car is a beast and i'm a big fan myself i have driven one briefly for a few sort of about half an hour i believe it was about half an hour to an hour the thing is though i never got a good feel of the car because we're on roads that i weren't too familiar with so it should be pretty good because we're going to take on our usual test route today and yeah the aim of the video basically is to give you guys a good feel of the car if you're new to the channel basically what we focus on are just the sort of real life feeling and how you, it's like in a sort of the normal roads you take your car on and also you can call it a review if you like but we're not going to focus on stuff like boot space etc so what we're going to do now we've got me up with the owner this is obviously my s3 here and i want to see how this car is like compared to the a45 because the previous video i did on the a45 i did say it's the best hot hatch i've driven so far i know i say that a lot but yeah i want to see how the rs3 is like on the same sort of roads yeah, also I want to see how it's like compared to my car as well because obviously the RS3 is one step above Yeah, I want to see how much big of a step that is Obviously mine's a facelift but it shouldn't really make much of a difference So what we'll do now, we'll just go meet up with the owner and go check out his car See you guys in a second Right, so here we are at the rooftop, there's the car over there So yeah, let's go check it out Right people, so here's the RS3 after all these months of waiting and this one pretty much has every option on it. I'm gonna try to cover everything, but literally there's so much stuff on this car where you might end up missing some stuff out. So yeah, let's start with the easiest bit. This car's finished in Nardo Grey. It's also got the black pack. As you can see, it's de-chromed at the front and you get this sort of black finish over here. The standard one is sort of silver, but on Nardo Grey, you gotta have the black pack. And also it's got the black alloys. And yeah, this thing literally is just fully loaded, man. I literally, I don't know what way to start to be fair. So yeah, let's start with the engine first. I mean, the RS3, the main sort of selling point of this car is that it has a 5-cylinder engine, 2.5 litre, has around 362 bhp and around 343 pound-feet of torque. It's quite a big jump from my car over there, which is an S3. And obviously, you can see the difference in sort of the arches and sort of the way the car sits. There's the RS3 over there and there's the S3 over there. Literally, the front arches on the RS3 are slightly flared. Most people may not notice, but they are quite flared out. Also, this car has a wider front tyres which is an option as well. Literally, you get, I believe, about 20 extra profile. Move around the back here. This car also has the RS Sports exhaust. It also has a Miltec decat, which we'll show you in a bit. Does sound pretty crazy. And yeah, there's the two oval pipes. You gotta have the oval pipes on an RS car. Also, we've tinted the back lights, which I do like. And yeah, just pretty much the usual sketch here, to be honest. It's got a panoramic roof, which I do like. As we've mentioned a few times on this channel now, my car's missing the panoramic roof, but don't worry, next time when I get a car, it will have a panoramic roof. And yeah, it just generally looks a business, doesn't it? Moving on to the interior. Very familiar interior here. Of course, this is based on the uh, pre-facelift A3 range, so you don't get the sort of virtual cockpit. But trust me, this car makes up for it in other ways. Also, another RS3 only feature, you get the sort of Alcantara. It is strange though that they put the Alcantara on the... Uh, top and the bottom rather than the sides i believe they changed that for the facelift it's almost as if they want you to cruise like this also you get this unique gear lever only on the rs3 the s3 has the usual astronic lever and yeah this car also has keyless stop it's really strange it's like i'm in my own car but just like it's got like extra little touches to it like for example obviously i'm sitting in super sport seats which obviously you can get on the s3 but i didn't go for those also rs only features stuff like the alcantara wheel and also if you didn't know it's also got these cutouts on the door handles. There it is. It shows that they go to the extra length to just give you little unique features on an RS product. So what we'll do now, I know you guys are probably fed up on me just talking, you wanna hear the car. This thing's bloody crazy. I've heard it on the owner's Instagram a few times. Like I said, I'll leave it in the description. Bloody crazy car. So what we'll do now, we'll just turn it on. All right, so let's turn it on. Keyless start, like I mentioned. That's crazy, man. Let me just put this camera down. You guys need to hear that from the outside. people so here we are on the rs3 we 
yeah, basically what we're going to do, we're going to take out the same roads that we normally go on. Uh, you'll probably recognize them. We'll get a few flybys as well. And obviously you get to hear the sound as well. It's just crazy, man. I'll drop the windows down again. It's just too bad, literally. The build tech decal as well. The part of this video is literally going to be just talking about the sound. I'm not going to lie. The sound is amazing as well. You buy this car, man. Straight up. Every time you floor it, everyone looks around and thinks someone's getting shot, man. Noise there with the vast open. You ain't getting on any other hot hatch. It definitely feels more hardcore than my car. Big difference. It's definitely closer to the A45 in that regard. <laughs> We're gonna try and cover as much as possible, but I'm not gonna lie, guys. Yeah, I just keep trying to listen to the sound and I end up forgetting that we do the video here. You gotta remember, I like cars as well, so I'm just trying to just drive the car. <laughs>
know when your seats are sitting on, they're like bricks and like you can't relax and drive. This you can put it back in the D, which we'll do now for about a minute or so. Don't worry, we'll put it back in manual in a second. But look, it's in 6 gear and it's shot up already. It's still loud and it's not getting twisted, but the thing is you can drive it every day if you want to. But obviously the main thing you want to do is this. <laughs> now you're going to get old, man. I thought the Focus RS was like a rally car, man. This thing's got a proper rally noise going on. It's like a sort of Sport Quattro. If you guys know what that car is, you know. Yeah, that was all right. Not too much lean. Thing is, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the sort of reviews you guys will have read and stuff about this car, track tests, etc. They're not on roads, they're on tracks, so of course you're gonna feel understeer. The Golf R, for example, you've seen that track test. Oh, it's faster this round of track. I'm sure it probably is a bit faster because obviously the handling's better. But the sound and the power of straight line. This thing's like just like a brute. to try and reduce some of that understeer and also they've obviously retuned the sort of quattro system to send a bit more power to the back but the thing is uh, this car isn't too bad anyway i mean like it is a bit of nose happiness but me as like obviously driving it and you would drive it on a country road it's not a problem you're not you guys are not going to be driving the car 100 percent. i guarantee you yeah the a45 is more playful there's no doubt about that it was very exciting but this thing's got its own appeal. Second gear. <laughs> Some supercars don't even do that, I'm telling you straight. Ah, it's like a brute, man. This is just a standard RS sports exhaust, crazy stuff. Right, so the launch procedure is pretty similar to every other van car. Uh, you put an ESC sport, basically go in S mode, hold the brake. There you go. Right, so here we are back at the rooftop. Look, the S3's appeared again. Let's turn this beast off. Right, people, I know this probably doesn't make much sense because we're on the rooftop, but it's gone dark and also the RS3's disappeared. Basically, yeah, I got to the editing and realized that my actual outro that I did before, it was just covered in wind noise and you couldn't hear what I'm saying. So basically, I thought for a bit of consistency, I'd come back to the rooftop and do the outro properly and tell you guys exactly what I thought about the RS3. I drove that a few days ago. That was obviously the video you've just seen. And basically I wanted to just wrap up the video in a sort of a better way and tell you guys exactly how that car was. 
basically the car is a beast there's no denying it that car has proper brute force it's like a sledgehammer sort of approach when you take it on a straight in terms of comparing it to the a45 i'm not gonna lie guys you know the a45 is definitely a more agile car you can push it through bends it feels a more lighter car and um partly that's obviously down to the fact that the a45 has got a lighter engine up front the rs3 of course has that big five part up front so it does take a bit of tugging in to get around the corners it's definitely good at cornering but it just needs a bit more of pushing in not bad by any means but you know what i'm saying the thing is though i know a lot of these things have been resolved in the facelift so that's why i'm interested to see how the facelift is going to be like to drive because of course they've moved over to an aluminium engine block um, I am aware that a facelift was due but I did want to drive this pre-facelift before I do a facelift because I want to see how this sort of compare. The facelift one basically will have 394 bhp and obviously will have a lighter engine block, it's now aluminium. But yeah basically I'm hoping that car should drive even better than the one that I experienced because the one I experienced was good, there was no denying that. And obviously big shout out to the owner for letting me drive it. Also guys, you know comparing it to the S3. The thing is, I haven't got back in my S3 and felt like I've got such a downgrade now. I thought I was going to feel like how I'm going to drive my S3 after driving that. But for some reason, this car feels so light in your hands. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because this is a facelift S3 and obviously the seven speed box and it's just quite snappy. Like you can chuck this thing into corners in a way that sometimes you can't the RS3. I know it's weird to explain, but basically with the RS3, it's more of a hardcore car. But because there's so much weight up front, you can't like manhandle it basically. Like sometimes the S3, I literally grab it and just chuck it in. And obviously if you've experienced an S3 facelift, you'll know that it sends more power to the back in dynamic, so you can't get the back out. I mean, the RS3 may be able to do that, but you never feel like you want to do it basically. But overall, definitely a beast. And I do think that I would, I would consider something like that if I was going for say a hyper hatch. Because the thing is you can use it more day to day than you can the A45. The A45 is great, but I'd have to have another car if I was going for a car like that. RS3 is awesome all around and the sound is bloody crazy. But yeah, overall, it was definitely a good experience and obviously I am looking forward to trying out the face of the RS3, definitely. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I'm not going to force you, but it'd be nice because at least I know then if you've enjoyed this sort of format video. I am looking to switch it up soon, make it a bit more interesting and maybe add a few more cinematic shots and stuff. But yeah, stay tuned for that. Also, if you've got a car you'd like to see on the channel, your car that is, let me know. We could film a sort of video on it. I don't mind. I have done a video explaining how to sort of go through that procedure as it's such. It's on my channel. But yeah, the main thing is email me. It's in the description. But yeah, anyway, guys, stay tuned for more. And I'll see you next video. Take care, guys.